talking about uh, constituents and the constituency test we need to understand that sentences are not a combination of words only rather they they are combinations of various constituents uh, or syntactic units which are put together to create a sentence and uh, we could define a constituent as a syntactic unit which functions as as a part of a larger sentence or a larger part which could be called a sentence constituency basically is at the center of any discussion about syntax syntactic units are not not arbitrary uh, arbitrarily united or put together rather uh, they are put together in some identifiable units or patterns uh, experts in syntax have identified four important levels of uh, language where these constituents of a sentence could be identified and the largest of the of the level or the bigger level could be the sentence then we have clauses phrases and the words the individual units themselves so uh, as i said earlier sentence is considered to be uh, the largest constituent and word is the smallest sometimes sen sentences and uh, clauses are similar for example a declarative sentence could also uh, may possibly consist of one clause only so they, they could uh, be understood interchangeably a constituent can be a word a phrase a clause or a sentence there could be various types of constituents there could be some immediate constituents or ultimate constituents uh, but it would depend on on the level uh, we are dealing with uh, we if we are dealing with a sentence or a clause or a phrase uh, at the highest level sentence itself is a constituent and at the same time uh, this highest level constituent could consist of some immediate constituents which could, which could be known as subject or predicate so there could be so many constituents within a larger constituent in order to identify various constituents of a sentence uh, experts in syntax have ad have identified or proposed various tests we usually call them constituency tests and these help us as i said uh, help us in identifying various elements or constituents of a sentence there are various tests and some of the po popular tests are include substitution or replacement test uh, in this form of test we could see whether a phrase or an element of language could be replaced by another one without changing the grammatical correctness of the sentence and the typical example of such kind of test is changing a noun phrase with a pronoun for example uh, we could see as some of the typical examples of such uh, changes include uh, the pro form like it here there uh, etc and uh, the typical example of such uh, uses or such changes in language uh can be seen in front of your screens in form of the sentence i have cited there you could read the sentence i do not know the man who is sleeping in the car alternatively you could say say i do not know him so him could be uh, could be used to change to substitute the entire noun phrase which is in front of you another type of uh, constituency test is omission or deletion test this includes whether a sequence of words uh, can be omitted without influencing the uh, gram grammatical correctness of the sentence in most cases adverbials which provide additional information could be replaced in order to uh, apply this omission test or check the constituents of a language for example if you look at uh, the example in front of you fred relaxes 
at night on his couch. And we could formulate two sentences from this single sentence. For example, Fred re relaxes on his sofa or couch or Fred relaxes at night. So we could omit uh, both of these phrases, uh, prepositional phrases, at night and on his sofa in, in various sentences. And they could still be correct sentences. We have a movement or fronting test and this involves uh, if two or more words uh, form a syn syntactic constituent and if they can be moved together as a single unit to another position in the same sentence without, uh, without changing the grammatical correctness of the sentence. For example, uh, the man sat on the chair. We could, we could uh, just shift on the chair in front of the sentence and we could say on the chair the man sat and this movement is made without making uh, the sentence grammatically incorrect so this kind of shift is also called fronting because usually we shift as uh, a phrase uh, on the front of a sentence in order to uh, conduct this test there could be some other forms of constituency test used by uh, experts in syntax and these include answer ellipses or clefting test. A good English language teacher should be familiar with, with these tests so that he could disseminate the form, formation of sentences to his students in a proper way.